everyone! Obviously, I am not in my room right now. I am in the wings of my theater. Yeah! So, I will be doing a video today that none of you knew was coming. Uh, I haven't mentioned in a video that I have posted. Um, I mentioned it in a video that I ended up not posting, but that's not the point. Today is my tattoo video. I will be talking about both my tattoos, um, both of which are quite large. Uh, I guess I should show you them right now, and then I'll get into discussing the experience, um, and all that, and pictures will be at the end of a better quality since the lighting is not that great in here, as you can see, as half my face is in shadow. Alright, so, sorry about my slightly chubby tummy, I haven't worked out in a while. Here's my peacock. Oh, there's the train. And there is my phoenix. Adjusting. <laughs> Alright, so I got them both done at Old Anchor Tattoo in Portage, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, yeah, that's how I, I got it done by Ryan. That was, I've never been to another tattoo parlor before this one. I expected them to be um, kind of shady with like drawings on the wall. It wasn't like that at all. It had a bunch of eclectic artwork and it was very, really nice. Um, but I went in there, made an appointment right after my 18th birthday, and then ended up talking with Ryan quite a bit, trying to get it all sorted out, and the peacock, I'm talking about the peacock right now, um, got it all sorted out, got the design perfect and everything, and it was amazing and wonderful. When I went in to get it done, I went with my mom and my best friend Kristen, and I don't remember it being that painful, but obviously it must have been, because when I went back to get my phoenix done the guy remembered me for wiggling like he was like oh you're the wiggler i was like what so yeah i got it done i got the outline done one day and then i had to go and get some sleep and wait a week and then i went back a week after i got the outline done to get the coloring done which wasn't painful at all i remember that being completely fine and i went with my sister sarah for that one um I ended up costing two fifty plus tip, no, two fifty including tip. That's what it ended up being. The Phoenix I got done this summer um, in June. I got it done June thirteenth of this year, and it has really special meaning for both Ross and I because instead of getting a promise ring, he bought me this tattoo. So it's it's my permanent promise ring on the side of my side. So I got it to my Ryan again. Um, this one was incredibly painful. I'm going to show you it again. Just this part down here, right here. I was crying by the time we got this one done. And up here, this entire ring was bleeding terribly. Again, I got it done in two parts. Um, the outline, then the, then the coloring. It ended up being about 3.58, which I don't. Maybe business was bad or something, and they had to up the prices. Whatever it was, um, I'm happy with both of them. They're both amazing. Um, I know everybody says where they got their tattoos. The, the most painful place to got it, to got it, to got it. You got it. No, to get it, to get it. Where they got it is the most painful place to get it. But um. Yeah, it was incredibly painful. I remember the peacock being painful on my ribs, but it also had, like, oh, I don't know if this is going to show up. This part right here was on my tummy, so it didn't really hurt that much. But the entirety of the phoenix was just, like, on a bunch of nerves and ribs and hip bone. and Oh, it was painful. It was so painful but so worth it in the end because I'm happy with both of them so much and I know as an actress I shouldn't litter my body with tattoos but I plan on being an acting coach so I can get as many tattoos as I want so I hope you all enjoy this video I hope it's not too boring um if you want to know more about my tattoos just comment down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions bye Hey guys, obviously I forgot to film this part, which is why I'm now in my dorm room and you're seeing my roommate's messy. She's on the messy side of the room. But other than that, I have something really cool I want to tell you. Um, 
I am planning on doing a new giveaway soon. Um, I won't be telling you what it is, but I will be telling you when I will be doing it. I will be doing it as soon as I hit 150 subscribers. Awesome! And it's really not that far to go. Um, the cool news for you guys, though, if you are a subscriber right now, your name has already been written down in this notebook twice. So you are entered into this contest twice. All you have to do to be entered into this contest is be a subscriber. And if you are right now entered twice. So tell your family, tell your friends, and all that, and as soon as 150 people are subscribed, new contest will be up. You can win cool stuff. It'll be fun. Alright. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.